Hi, this video is about how to schedule a live event on YouTube from your desktop. Did you know that you can schedule live events on YouTube right from your desktop or laptop? You don't even need a certain number of subscribers, unlike mobile live streaming, which currently requires 10,000 subscribers. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you the top five benefits of streaming via YouTube live events, how to get started, and four important things to keep in mind. Hi, my name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, hit the bell icon to receive notifications on future videos. This channel is all about how to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot. The old Hangouts on Air can now be done with YouTube live events. Here are the top five benefits of using YouTube live events. Number one, quick and easy. It only takes a few minutes to use YouTube Live to create a quick event with Hangouts on Air. Number two, schedule your event for a future date and time. So if you wanna go live tomorrow, schedule a date and time for it. Number three, embed the schedule event on your website. You have the ability to embed an HTML code on your website so people will know when you'll go live. You also get a link which you can add to your email or any of your social media sites. Number four, control who can see your broadcast. When you create a new event, you have three options. Public means anyone can see or access the content. Unlisted means that the link is not shown publicly, but is given to anyone that you specify. Private means only specific people that you ask can join the event. You can share the event with a domain, a group, or a specific individual. Number five, enable a backup for redundancy. This is a great way to save your event in case your connection is lost while you're going live. You also have the ability to create multiple live events and stream them all at the same time. Here's how to set up your first YouTube live event. So just log into your YouTube account, click on the profile icon, click create a studio, click on live streaming, click events. So you don't have any upcoming events, schedule a new event. Click new live event. And under type, select quick which is using the old Google Hangouts on Air, but it's actually now YouTube Live. I can change the settings from public to unlisted or private. So I'm gonna go unlisted at the moment. You put in your titles, you can do it for today, or if you click on the box, then you can schedule it for another day. And then you can put the embed link on your website or elsewhere, and then notify people ahead of time when you're ready to go live. That will do it for today at the moment. And then you can put in the description. Just use the same as the title for now. Tags, YouTube Live in here, and I'll put Hangouts on here as the tags. Click Go Live Now. It says ready to go. You will now enter a Google Hangout on air so you can stream live from your webcam. If you meant to schedule a live event for later, please click Cancel and edit your event time. So I'm gonna go live now. Please wait. And here it says, install the Hangouts plugin to get started. It's free and installed in seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and install the plugin. This is probably, people don't have many subscribers. Click install plugin. Double click the Google Voice and video setup.dmg. I'm using a Mac. So I'm gonna to go to my download folder. and just search for uh, Google Voice. Here it is. So I can double click that, then double click the Google Voice and Video Installer. Double click that. You'll be guided through the steps necessary to install the software. Click Continue. Click Install to perform a standard installation of the software on the Macintosh HD. Click Install. Put in my password. Okay, it's installing. Okay, it was successful. Close. Do you want to trust the website hangoutsgoogle.com to use the Google Talk plugin? Okay, I'm going to trust that. I'm going to go back to the live events tab. Now I'm going to start the new live event again. I can also go to advanced settings, can enable live chat. Allow embedding, 
and select a category. These are all the default settings of my YouTube account. Select the language, so I'll change that to English. You can pretty much leave all those settings the same. Click monetization and it says to earn money from your videos, you need an AdSense account. So set up an AdSense. I'm going to go back to basic and now I'm ready to go live. Click go live now. It says ready to go. You will now enter a Google Hangout on air so you can stream live from your webcam. If you meant to schedule your live event for later, please click, can click cancel and enter your event time. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Click OK. Uh, do you want to trust the website hangoutsgoogle.com to use the Google Talk plugin video renderer plugin? Trust it. So let's look at some of the settings. We've got a new control room. You can moderate your broadcast by controlling your guest microphones and cameras. Here it says start broadcast. And here you got the cameraman, which says show or hide participants in your broadcast with this button. As guests join, hide their audio or video from any broadcast, but no, broadcast a large video that I see to my audience and hide the other video feeds, no. New guests in my large three plus broadcasts are muted when they join, no. So you've got, you can invite people, you can mute the microphone, turn the camera off, adjust bandwidth usage, uh, adjust the settings. So here's your camera, the microphone, speakers, etc. And here you can leave the call. I've also got screen share. So if I choose my desktop, I can do a screen share right away. So you can present it to everyone option up here to uh, hide participants, invite people, you can mute your microphone, you can turn the camera off, adjust bandwidth usage, you can go settings, so you got the FaceTime, uh, you got the default microphone, so I'm going to use the blue snowball, default speakers, click save, and here you've got your chat, so you can uh, share the permanent link, bookmark, come back anytime send an invite as it is done for you. So I'm off here right now, and this is, it says you, hide from broadcast, present to everyone, profile, mute. And down the bottom here, you've got links. So you click on links. You've got a link here that you can, um, for your broadcast. And also you've got a video embed link here, which you can put on your website or other locations on the web. Especially if you're going to schedule something ahead of time, you can just embed this link on your website or notify people by email with a link when your broadcast is about to start. Okay, so we're currently off, off air at the moment. So just checking our settings again. Now let's click start broadcast and we're ready to go. We'll hang out on air and every broadcast on YouTube. You can broadcast for up to eight hours. It says starting. This hangout on air is live, we're ready. Hey everyone, Herman Drost here. I want to welcome everybody to this live broadcast. Click stop broadcast. Broadcast has been terminated. That's how you do hangouts on air with YouTube Live. Here's the video under live streaming events. And here's the live stream video amongst my regular videos. Keep these five important things in mind. Number one, you don't need a certain number of subscribers for your YouTube live events. My demo channel only has six subscribers. Number two, you'll need to install the Google Voice and Video plugin. Number three, YouTube Live supports multiple simultaneous live streams. For every live stream you create, you must proportionally increase the network resources. Number four, viewers are limited to three comments for every 30 seconds. They also can't post special characters such as URLs or HTML tags. That's it. Now you know how to stream live events directly from your desktop. Let me ask you an important question. Do you intend to live stream on YouTube? Post your answer in the comments below. I love to read them. Click the card icon to download my YouTube mobile live streaming checklist for beginners. You'll learn the secrets to mobile live streaming on YouTube. If you want to receive more video tutorials like this one every week, hit the subscribe button below. Make sure you check out the related videos to receive more in-depth information. I'll see you in the next video.